Welcome back to Eureka Farms for episode 12 with me, Mr. Sealy P. I am in the process of preparing hay. I said I needed some so I could do top mix ration for the new pen. Even if I don't do all the rest of it, I, I can get some top mix ration in there for the excess cows that are going to go in. I have, I'm doing a contract sowing on field two at the moment. I've got the mower. I had to get the, t the tether because I used all my hay. I mowed and tedded enough grass to get my 5%. If you missed it the other day on the video, I've got 5% of the total volume of this trailer is hay. Everything on the ground you see before you is grass with just 5% in the loading wagon. And this works on all maps, all loading wagons, all apparently this is, this is a thing. So now all the grass I put in will register as hay so I don't have to ted any more, which is great. Why am I doing round field eight? I'm doing round field eight because that's what my new field that I've put grass in and what I'm gonna do is plow out all the um, the gap between the field and the road. Maybe a bit down the right hand side, probably not the left because I'm worried about workers overlapping. And I'm gonna plant grass seed in that as well. That way I can use fertilizer to improve yield. I have been told a lot of people have said the grass that's already on the map yields very highly anyway. I, I just seem to be finding bits where I've planted it myself. It seems to be thicker when I'm doing it. I don't know if it's just me imagining things or not. But as you can see, my hay is going up. I'll be putting this all into storage and then I'll be making total mix ration for the cows so I can do the overspill, which will allow the cows then to reproduce, which is what I need. Um, so all I'm doing is getting this field done first. The mower is now currently, as you can see, just over there doing field 10. I've just left that on a worker for the time being, so I can get this done. Then I'm going to go and grab the plough, plough at the excess, lime what I need to lime, and then I'm going to put grass seed um, in and around the side of this. But I thought I'd just catch up now at the start of the video. So when I then come onto the next clip, people suddenly go, hang on a minute, what's going on? How come you've got all this hay? How come you're making tub mix ration? How can you... It just kind of covers all the bases, so to speak. But anyway, I'm going to crack on, and I'll see you, yeah, in a while, I think. We'll see how much hay we've got on hand, then we'll do Thomas ration, and then I'll move the cows, and then uh, we'll kind of go from there. It's time to make some TMR. I've had a bit of a, I've had a bit of an epiphany moment actually. I don't know why I didn't do this before. When I showed my TMR mixing setup before, uh, I've got the and because I'm doing forage, I can use the um, loading wagon. It can be the trailer, it can be the loading wagon, doesn't matter. But because this one, I had the other one before, the belly dump one. This is a million liters. So what I'm going to do is mix 300,000 liters of TMR in here dump it in, mix load, dump it in, mix load, dump it in, I'll have 900,000 litres. That way I've got to keep unloading every time I do it. I don't want to do that before. So I'm going to mix up three loads. So I've got 900,000 litres. Then I'll get to a point I'm going to move over 100 cows and then I'll put the what I've got in. I don't think I'll need a million. I've only got 2.4 to 2.5 million litres needed for 500 cows, so I'm not going to need that much. So that's what I'm going to do. I've already put straw in, 75,000 litres. So what I'm going to do now is uh, 75,000 litres of silage. And then I'll do 150,000 litres of straw. And I'll do that three times. And um, yeah, once I've got 900,000 litres, I'll put it into storage and then I'll sort out moving the cows. Uh, I've got no more contracts on the go at the moment, actually. We ended up with um, a fair old bit. Oh, hang on. I should have shown you that, shouldn't I? Now I'm taking the silage out. What did we end up with? 1,895,237 litres of hay off of all of our fields. I have also... Field 8 is now done in that... Uh, where are we? I've ploughed out that bit. I've ploughed out all the way around the edge. That's now been limed. It's been fertilised and it's been seeded. That is all grass now as well. So 8 and 10 and that strip across there is all grass so we're looking pretty good i'm a bit concerned i think i might have well i don't know if i've made oh, i've gone too much i'm too busy talking um yeah the poplars haven't grown my corn's gone into its first growth stage the grass over there in the middle has gone to its first growth stage nothing's happened with the poplars 
but then I, I think they take a bit longer anyway. I'll, I'll keep an eye on it because I'm pretty sure I've, something's gone wrong somewhere. Right, might have to do a bit of tweaking it. Okay, let's go again. That will do. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So this is the first load, and let's say I do some more, but I just thought I'd show you where I'm at, what I'm doing. Um, so that again, when we, we come back later on, and I've got uh, 900,000 litres of um, TMR, people aren't wondering where I got it, how I got it, and what exactly is happening. So, 150,000 litres of hay, and jobs are good. Right. See you later. Nine hundred thousand litres of total mix ration is ready to go. There's no point in putting it in there yet because I've got no animals in there. In recent days, new equipment has become available. My lovely shiny tanker, sixty thousand litres, which I bought, I'm going to swap out because there's another one available, which is bigger by seven thousand and something litres. So we're going to swap it out. I think the new one's even cheaper. We're also going to lease, I've just suddenly realised, I don't know if I've got the larger livestock trailer, so we can move a hundred of our cows over, which we'll also do. I don't know why I keep doing this. Someone said to me the other day in the comments, you're doing all this crazy stuff and using you know, larger equipment and wider your headers and faster this and that and the other. Why do you keep sticking to the roads when you can just drive wherever you like? That's a very, very, very good point. I don't know why I keep doing that. That's just force of habit. I've still got to come and collect that bucket, actually. For my telehandler. Oh, I put a built a little shelter. I don't know if you just noticed it. Next to the silo by the factory, I've um, put a little standalone shelter just to put the pallets under. They, they don't technically need to be, but just for my own peace of mind, that is looking absolutely filthy. So... Let's sell that back for 37,763. So we lost a little bit on that. I think it was 40 grand. But what we're going to do, I don't need to be here to do this, do I? Um, let's go into here. And we are going to get... Now, my mind's gone blank again as to where this was. Uh, I'm going to say this was under regular trailers, but I will check in here first. Do you think I'd remember having done the mod review? There it is. Oh. <laughs> Am I going to mix and match it? No. Uh, rim colour, I'm going to go for... Polished. Main colour, I'm going to go stainless, I think. Yep. Then design colour... Our lorry is... Oh, mind you, I don't think I've got a... Did we go for Fent Nature Green? I think we did. Oh, kind of metallic-y Fent Nature Green fancy uh then we're gonna have it i'm gonna leave it multi-product i'm not gonna go specific uh stock wheel brand i think we'll set up we're gonna go for heavy duty knock-ins yep fenders uh, i'm just gonna go rear i think now we're gonna have those illumination oh yes rear ring work lights all all attaches, yes. Trailer attacher, absolutely. Warning signs. I'm going to go with that. The, the, the danger if wet, just because it makes me laugh. Vinyls. Am I going to go for that? Yeah, I am going to go for the raindrops, I think. Because I can. And because I like them. So... We're going to buy that for 28900 so we actually come out of that better off. I have got a contract at the moment, which is uh, on field two for fertilising. Pays out about forty grand. Uh, oh, livestock trailer. <laughs> I think that's what I was initially coming to get. I don't know if I've got the larger one installed. The Vanquish 0811. No, we can use that one just 14 at a time 
That does 12. Oh, I should have got the other one. Oh, the AM-19. It's going to take a little bit of time, but I'll just do a bit of backwards and forwards. I'm going to leave it like that. I'm not going to change anything. Let's lease that. So I'm going to do the livestock first, then I'll come back and I'll get the uh, trailer. Great thing with that is we can use it for doing the water in both trough, in both of the uh, you know, troughs, the thingamy jiggamies. <sighs> Cattle barns, and then um, we can use it for transporting our milk too. Which will be wonderful. Uh, let's open this up. I can't remember how we do that. There we go. That was a bit of luck remembering that. Now, technically, I don't need to move 100. I could just move 50, but I'll do 100. It just makes more sense. It's just that way it gives a lot more scope for them to reproduce in this one. We will still get some. With 100 in the other one, we'll get some new births in that one too, but it will also split the feed quite nicely, I just so realised. Don't think. Poplars, hopefully, like I said in the previous episode, I was hoping they were going to kind of get them in the ground straight away, so I'm really, really still very curious to see what's going to happen there. Uh, right. If you watch my... Um, Look back, it was a week ago now, wasn't it? I think it was last Saturday. The look back at um, FS15, 17 and 19, the animal counter. I, I, I don't know why it went. Why did it go? Because now I've got a counter, whereas before I wouldn't have to, I wouldn't have to worry. A um, bit frustrating, but anyway. I'm going to do 14 anyway, so I'll fill it out first. And then once I've moved them all over, then I'll just spend a bit of time putting water and feed and straw in next door. We shouldn't need a million litres of salt mixed ration. The great thing is, again, tomorrow the grass will have grown again, so I'll be able to then just... Uh, okay. just, just go again. Just cut the grass again. Oh, that's what I need to save up for, wasn't it? The mower. I want to get the super duper mower. Uh, so, let's move all those over. Now, hopefully they won't disappear in the time. Right, I'm going to see in a little while. I'm going to get all this done. I'll then get the tanker up here and we'll get some water in both of them. I'll get the tail mix ration in and we'll be good to go for the cows. And then we should see the production rate then change here on the first pen. And then we should get one come up on the second pen as well. So, I should have done this in the first place, but I didn't have enough money to buy the second pen at that point but now I have oh we've got a cow running for the gate Six oh three. That's better. The poplars are now growing, and you see what I mean. Using on TNT Farms maps, using the cedar to do poplars, you don't get the rows. So we have just got a complete mat of poplars. When these grow, that is going to be bonkers. I, I really was starting to worry because they hadn't. I thought it would do this when you first seeded them. Um, but they are growing, so that's absolutely fantastic. The other thing is, all the animals have been switched now. So if we go on to this menu here, we have got 100 in the secondary barn. We've got 401 in the other one. I've done a couple of contracts, a bit of time has moved forward. So we have got one new berth already, so it was well worth shifting them. I should be getting, I've got a reproduction rate on there of 3 hours 15 for each new one. So every 3 hours 15, we're going to be getting a new berth on this one um, every eight hours so in every day we're going to be getting a load more animals that's absolutely fantastic i've got a fertilizing job going on field five at the moment and i think as far as contracts go there's then we've got a transport one well two transport ones after that so that one will be done fairly soon i think everything else is growing unless we get any more fertilizing jobs come up i will well, I'll probably see you in the morning now anyway. We'll see what we're up to with regard to our manure 
our um, slurry, our milk production should be absolutely off the chain. We should have a load more sugar because that's all going. Oh, yep, yeah, sorry, another full one. That's all going very well. I thought these had. Did these have sugar on them? Oh, is it only when it's full you get the actual the label gets slapped on the front? So yeah, everything's going very well. We only needed 450,000 litres of each product uh, in here for our 100. The only thing I haven't got is grass. Um, but you know, our grass fields that we did, we should have a load more tomorrow. So uh, yeah, everything's looking great. I will see you tomorrow a.m. It is the morning. The money has gone up dramatically. I did a load more contracts. I've got one that is, I say on the go, I haven't started yet, but we have got a harvesting contract. So everything's looking good. I've got a couple of new pieces of machinery I'm going to buy in a minute. But what we're going to do, first of all, is we're going to have a go with this um, TARDIS bucket. This is an interdimensional um, bucket from TNT. Here on Eureka Farms, we believe in efficiencies. So the question is, can I fit all of that into that? And if I can, will it be heavy? Or will the interdimensional portal that is um, used to great effect on this bucket make it so it is massless? Um, we shall see. That's all part. The funny thing is, half the stuff I've been doing, you think about all the stuff I've done already, um, we did the grass from yesterday, we made total mix ration, we moved 100 cows, I've done a load of contracts overnight, we're going to use the, the bonkers bucket, which is only available here on Eureka Farms, TNT uh, Modding's map, this is not a readily available bucket, I mean the bucket is, but not this particular one, because this has a rather impressive trick up its sleeve, and then I was going to look at poplars, but poplars still aren't grown yet, but my cornfield is ready to go. The grass field that we planted yet the other day is all done as well. We've got loads of grass to cut. One of the new pieces of machinery I'm going to buy is going to be the mower. Now, any one of these things in any other Let's Play would have been a thumbnail and would have been the focus of that Let's Play. But because this is Eureka Farms, there's bonkers stuff going on all the time. So, I, you know... Am I going to focus on one of those things? Well, yeah, let's. We'll focus on the bucket because this is a bit. This is the most bonkers thing. We're going to do a quick silage harvest. In that, we're going to do the big field three of corn. That's all going to the bunk silo. I'm going to cut all of the grass I've got now. That'll be done off screen. You've seen me mow and cut grass before. But what I'm going to do is the first 450 lit, 450 liters, 450,000 liters is going into that cow barn because they've got no grass at the moment. If we go across to them, you'll see we're up to 406 now. They're looking good, feeds and all the rest of it. But the 100 that I moved over, I didn't have any grass. So the grass needs to be topped up to get them mega productive. We've got a load of milk on hand. But this is supposed to be, if I've got the right one, this is a 100,000 litre bucket. So what should happen? <laughs> we should be able to empty the entire, the entire manure pit. In one bucket load. That is absolutely 88,000. Oh, hang on, I've gone over 100,000 litres. I've got enough room? Come on, come on, what have we got? 90,381 litres of manure in that bucket. I told you it was the TARDIS bucket. We managed to empty that entire silo, uh, that entire manure pit, manure clamp. I'm going to take this and sell it at the biogas plant. Now the great thing about this tool is, especially here on this map, if we do a massive silage harvest, I'm going to, I don't know if I'm going to, again, with what I've got, I don't know if I'm going to be able to fill up one of those bunkers, uh, the um, silage clamps at the biogas plant. But when it comes to selling, because this will do 100,000 litres at a time, you think, a million litres, that's 10 bucket loads, that's nothing. Let's get this up to 100,000, we've got in here, we should have. Uh, let's... Or maybe not quite. No, we didn't quite have enough in this one either. But we're not far off. So we'll make a bit of money. We'll get our digestate process on the go. Now, as part of one of the updates on here, I was informed that 
the um, biogas plant now would take more in the digester or in the actual cell point slash digester that the grass has grown. I don't think that's fully grown though, is it? The middle section is. I don't think it is ready to cut, is it? That middle section is thick and lush grass. This on the outside isn't. So I don't think that's ready to do yet. Oh, that's annoying. I wanted to cut all that. Maybe the time it takes me to do the um, the cornfield. We're going to lease a forage harvester. So a couple of bits of machinery to buy. We're going to lease a forage harvester. We're going to lease a, a forage header. That will do everything super quick. Nine metre header. With a trailer on the back, we should get an absolute load. So this should... Yeah, so anyway. This is supposed to take way more. Somebody messaged me to say it takes a million litres now and processes at a ridiculous speed per second but then someone else messaged after i'd mentioned that and said it doesn't it's not it's not doing what it should do so this is my first i did put stuff in the bunker silo in one of the early episodes but that was for the farm so this i don't know let's tip that in see how far that goes up yeah look how quickly that's processing that's ridiculous i'm not even keeping up with it the processing speed of this biogas plant is insane <laughs> Look at it! That's just processed nearly 100,000 litres in... Boom! That was supposed to be a click of the fingers, but I clicked too far away from the... Uh, too far away from the mic. Yeah, that is working. So, it could be that with the update you didn't do a new st uh, save game. I'm pretty sure it did say that when you updated you had to do a new save game if this was all going to work properly. So that could be why. That was bonkers. That processed so fast. Which means we should have digestate. Does this digestate show up on here? Don't know if it does. No. That's interesting. No, it doesn't. Oh well, not to worry. So, the uh, magic bucket. <laughs> like I say, normally that would be, a, you know, that's a sensational thing. You couple that with the fact that that process is a ridiculous speed. It's just another normal day here on Eureka Farms. So, next up, new machinery, and then we will... Uh, yeah, let's get this silaging done on field three. My crop is ready, my wheat is ready to harvest on field nine. A lot of this looks like it is ready to go, but not all of it, so I will wait a little bit longer. Sugar production is still going well, I think up to six pallets done with another one processing. Uh, actually, I should have left this bucket over there, shouldn't I? Well, I could have left this bucket over there. I'll put it to one side just for a moment. I mean, that, that bucket is 5,000 litres less than the capacity of the largest trailer we have standard in-game on console, which is 105,000 litres, isn't it? So that, that just messes with your head. That just, again, that's not available as a standalone mod. That's available here on Eureka Farms, part of the uh, the TNT universe. Now, um, right, so something I had been thought, thinking about and, and didn't do and should have done, really, considering um, we are in harvest, the harvest period, the harvest cycle, because we're not running seasons, it will run in cycles. You'll do the cultivating jobs, the fertilising jobs, jobs, the sowing jobs, and then a little bit of time passes, you'll get a few more fertilising jobs, then you run into the harvesting cycle, which is the picture I think has already been up on the screen. Two harvesting jobs down, one that I've got ready to go. I haven't even looked. There's Nothing's popped up for the harvest contract on field four, which will pay out a huge amount, I would imagine. And that's when the money rockets up. Every time you run through a harvest cycle, you can tick over doing the fertilising jobs and stuff like that, but the harvesting is where, where the money's at because you obviously get the money for the, the products that's left over as well as the contract fee. So what I'm going to do is get a second harvester because I've got two headers. Probably need another corn header, actually. And again, part of the map here, we have got the large capacity harvesters. Now, this has been increased in the update as well. I think we only had the Case and the New Holland, didn't we? We've now got the John Deere and we've got the Ideal. That one is... Oh, no, it's a modded one I've got. So it's these four. Now, 
The John Deere is the cheapest, but the slot count is off the charts, 47. Well, not off the charts, but I thought about mixing up a little bit, but then realistically and logically, if I buy another New Holland, the slot count's down only one, because I've already got one. I've got plenty of slots to play around with, but I just thought, and also it just looks nicer, because it's they're the same. So these again, these are available here on Eureka Farms, 500,000 litre capacities. So we are buying a new harvester. That took up a big old chunk of change, didn't it? Uh, next, we are getting, because I'm doing a lot of it, we're getting the mower. So the Krona Big M 450, we are buying. Because every time I lease it, it's costing me 15, 20 grand. So it just makes sense. Why would I not just buy it? So what I'm going to do is now, I've still got 360 grand, and I've got another couple of contracts to go, and, which, you know, and we've got some more machinery. So what I'm going to do is get the harvesting on the go. Oh, actually, while we're here, we need to lease a uh, forage harvester. We're going to go for the Crone Big X 1180. Uh, I think we're going to leave it like that. Pipe. Oh, no, no, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was care careless. The dual trailer version I want to get. Again, this is what's available here on the map. This will make it, uh, you able to hook up to pretty much any trailer. So we're going to get that one. Pipe. I'm going to go for a long pipe. At least that. And then... And uh, forage harvester headers, there's a couple here that are quite important. We have got uh, this one here, X-Collect 903 Poplar Cutter. Uh, that's available here on the map, so we're going to use that when we do poplars. But this is the one um, that I'm going to use. That is a tool height control for harvester one, nine metres wide. We're going to grab that to go with the big X, and then we can crack on and get that corn done farm dog is ecstatic about the fact we're using this so i only bought that then and got so i got flustered by farm dog barking a lot so what we'll do we're going to get the harvester underway on what field am i doing oh, mine's gone completely blank um we are doing what's wrong with me field five and um, we're doing oats i'm not going to get the straw off that one because I've got my field 10, not 10, 9, which has got wheat in it. We'll get the straw swaths off that. And we've still got about 5 million litres of straw. So we shouldn't have a problem with straw for a while. So I'm not going to bother. I have got the two different headers. I've got a standard header and I've got a tool height control for harvester header. The tool height control for harvester header will be my header that I will use when I take part in the harvests. Um, otherwise, I'm going to use this one with a worker, which means it won't stop. Now, did I need to get a 500,000 litre one? Not really, because I've got my one which I could have unloaded into it. But realistically, why wouldn't I? Why fill up so quickly when I can just leave it running? So we're going to head over to field five, get this going. I'll see you in a bit. We'll get the forage harvester over to field three and let's get a quick silage harvest done and we'll get that stuck into the bunker silo. And then hopefully the grass will be fully grown. We can mow again. And all of that grass, apart from 450,000 litres, which I need for the cows, will also go into the bunker silo to be compacted, covered, and then I'll probably sell a load of that as well, I think. But it's, again, it's that, just that speed of processing of being able to do a really big silage harvest really quickly. That's what I'm aiming for. Um, and then, hopefully, next episode will be poplars. I want to get, I want to do a big poplar harvest using the poplar header, and then again, I'm racking my brains thinking, have I used all of the bonkers equipment? Some of it I'm replicating use of, of course I am. But poplars we haven't done yet, and we're going to use that poplar header. But, I'm trying to think. Oh, the um, Stara. When I first used it, wasn't going to the right width, but since the update, I think that should be working. I've already got my fertilising equipment. So anyway, yeah, so I'll get, I'll get this chucking away because the great thing about this is that could be harvesting away. I haven't got to worry about filling up because I'm pro probably going to be able to get the whole field done before it gets to 500,000 litres. The beauty of this map and these harvesters is that very thing. It's absolutely 
brilliant that you can just then crack on and get on with something and not have to worry with that message coming up every few minutes of the harvest is full needs unloaded. I mean, no, I know that's that's farming. Of course it is. That's how it should be done. How it's done in the real world. But we're not in the real world. That's what we want. I do have access to this land, actually. Okay, so with the header height control for harvesters, tall height control for harvesters, that's what the header is. Nine meters, so I should be able to turn it on, drop it down. We should be able to harvest at full speed. Again, because I'm using this particular forage harvester, which is available on this map, it will hook up to most trailers. I have had, when I've done a couple of these videos, people asking me why I can't get that trailer to hook up. Like I said, a lot of this stuff is specific to the map. But what the great thing is now, we should be able to now whiz along at 25 miles an hour, get this silage harvest done really quick. Now, could I be using a dolly and a million litre trailer? I could. Um, but, in all honesty, with regard to reversing and unloading in the bunker silo, silage clamp, I just think this would be easier. Um, we've got a big field here. We should get an absolute load. I think we had about, was it 700,000 litres we got off that field? When we first came and sort of started working on the farm, we did that field to clear it so I could put sugar cane in, and we got about 700,000 litres. So I reckon we're going to... Do you reckon a million off of this, maybe? Potentially. I think I'll probably do another strip that way, just to give myself enough turning room. The poplars are growing. Super speedy silage harvest. Like I said, and, uh, that's another reason why this isn't the focus of this video. This is something I'm doing in this video because I have already done a silage harvest where I focused on the fact it was the, you know, the fastest silage harvest I've done. So the curious thing is going to be with this, obviously I've got to cut all the grass, but with regard to the fact that we'll see just how much we can get into this, that with um, the grass will be in cut, the fact I've got field nine now grassed as well, I was getting about, well, it was weird, I was getting somewhere between 1.6 and 2 million litres of grass from what I had already. That should go up because I've got filled, um, sorry, 8 now has been um, grassed. But it could be because I did this again. I might have cut the grass before it was fully grown. That could explain why I only got 1.6 million litres on one of them. But again, the Eureka Farms... Um, scale of things is what in my head you're like oh, I only got 1.6 million litres and you stop <laughs> 1.6 million litres of grass seriously listen to yourself <laughs> yeah that's rubbish that's awful you know I don't know how you're going to make ends meet so yeah field 4 is ready to harvest but hasn't popped up on the harvest contracts at least I don't think it has I'm always keeping a check on here no, field one has that soybean. That bit, that last two were soybean harvest, and they paid out really well. So I'm curious now because I, I, I don't know. I reckon we might even get well over a million liters. You know, I'm pretty sure those. I'm, just, I'm trying to think. I'm sure someone messaged me to say the silage clamps here on Eureka hold. Is it five million liters each? It was a lot. I don't think I'm going to fill one. But some of it I will want to keep. Actually, I'll probably do it in strips now. Yeah, I need to get more of a turning zone, don't I? I need to do another strip the other way on that one. Yeah, some of it I will keep for making salt mix ration and for the cows, but I will probably, I might just sell a million litres just. That'll only be 10 bucket loads with the with the uh, TARDIS bucket, we should be fine. 10 bucket loads, sell a million litres, and then whatever's left may be put into storage and we've got that for the cows moving forward or split it down the middle sell half it and keep half it i don't know again because i've got this situation where because i'm not running seasons every day with growth on fast i'm pretty much being able to cut the grass daily whether i ted it and have hay or not ted it but you know what i mean if i do the the hay trick I'm either going to get knocking on 2 million litres of hay every day or 2 million litres of grass or if I put it into a bunker silo, 2 million litres of silage daily. I 
actually know what I'm thinking about it. I'm looking at the size of the field. Yeah, maybe only a million. That first lot just seemed to go up to 100,000 really quickly. I know there's still people out there that are, that are, um, there are people that are anti the fast farming because of the realism side of things, but I know a lot of people are still commenting and have messaged me on various different platforms um, to say that if you do the fast farming, you do lose a lot of yield. That Honestly, that may well be the case. I, Unless I did a comparison test to see, again, I'm not saying that's not true, but I'm still getting more than enough that I need when I'm selling crops when I do the harvest contracts and I've been doing the fast farming with the tool, tool height control um, I'm still making enough money on the contracts it's, it's not like if I was fast farming and only making a little bit and then thinking oh I'll try it without making a load but in all honesty I'm doing alright it's, it's not too much of an issue it wouldn't be on here and I've still got people saying to me if you're going to cheat as you are why not just cheat in the money because I'm still I still want to do the work I want to even though I am fast farming even though I am cheating even though I am you know we have got the uh, large capacity trailers and headers and harvesters and all the, the, the bonkers stuff um, there's still an element of gameplay I still want to you know I'm doing it faster but I want to do the work that's why I've spent hours and hours doing the, the various different contracts and I'll put up a little picture showing all the contracts I've done between episodes because I have I've put the time in. Yes, it's less time than if you would do normally because of all the, the equipment we can use, but I still have put the time in to do those contracts. I could have just started life. I thought I know I've talked about this before and everyone would be saying, Oh stop apologising, just do you and I, I totally understand that. But again, it's explaining, not complaining. I'm just saying this is this is what's happening. This is why I'm doing it. Um, there's still some part of me, even though I am in working for Go Ham Industries, even though I'm doing the fast farming and the large capacity stuff and the bonkers equipment. There's still a part of me that is saying, "Yeah, but you need to do the work to earn that." You know. So I don't. Know. It's just the way my mind works. Right, we're not going to be far off 500,000 litres. As soon as I hit 500,000, we'll go and empty it into the silo. And then I'll finish the rest of it off camera. And what I'll do is I'll see you when I put the last load in and we'll see how much we actually ended up with. I'm not going to compact it and cover it yet because I want to do all the grass cutting and that's going to go with it. So I'm looking across, I, get a, I don't know. Normally I can gauge it pretty well, and, and often I'll, I'll give a kind of guesstimate, an idea of where I think I'm going to be. And I'm not normally too far off. Occasionally I get it way, way wrong, but not normally too far off. But I'm looking across now, and I'm, I really can't... I don't know. 1.5 million? <laughs> One of these guesses is going to be right, isn't it? You can see that's still putting in because I'm doing the fast farming. The actual harvester itself is catching up. So even though I've finished the row, there's still all the stuff that the harvester is processing. Still processing. Still processing. Still processing. Wow, okay, that's not what I thought. Blimey. Okay. So normally the forage harvest and stuff will hold about 5,000 litres. I'm assuming that's changed as well. Because there was a lot in there. Okay, so we're going to hit 500,000 pretty quickly. I'm off to the side slightly because sometimes you get the corn stalks, as you can see. I know sometimes it's just a bit of an animation glitch. But sometimes if you... If you come too close to the edge you actually miss some so I've just done my I'll overlap a little bit like I said we're going to be there keep going keep going 500,000 litres there's still going to be some in the harvester what I'm going to do is turn that off 
disconnect the header and put the actually you know what I'm going to keep the pipe out so as we start to unload if there's still some left in the harvester that will tip in ah that's a lot of work in the back of there and I'm getting a lot of wheel slip now so you know what I think just for now I could be unloading into a trailer now and I could leave the harvester running or just swap trailers over and leave the harvester to keep running and then oh you know what that would speed things up a little bit wouldn't it should have bought it out you know what bear with me just a moment I'm gonna do that I know a lot of people said oh you're wasting time you gotta remember we're moving 500,000 litres at a time it's not really that big a problem at least I didn't think it was right in your own position okay so turn that off back that up and just go and grab the lorry in the other trailer it's what I normally do when I do a silage harvest so I guess there's no reason why I shouldn't leave that to carry on going but I should be able to unload it pretty quick okay cavalry to the rescue Now, the problem is because we've got the tall height control for harvester, we could have that issue that it's going to get to the end of the row and just stop. But I should be able to unload and come back before it does that, maybe. There we go. So that will hook up to that trailer as well. Let's switch back to that. Turn that on. Swing that around. And off we go. Okay. realise as well I think the um, harvester the new one has got straw swath enabled because I just as I went back to get this I'd had a quick check and it's dropping the straw on the floor so I could collect some of it, it wasn't my intention oh no I can't I don't know the fields next to it it's field five isn't it yeah I don't know the fields next to it that's not too much of an issue now I'm gonna do my what I normally do last time I did this I tried to go along the whole silo what I normally do if I think I'm going to fill a silo or at least come close to or you know I will just go to one end fill it up to capacity and then gradually move forward it's just the way I do it and everyone does it that way depends how you personally feel about it so but I'm going to come forward a fair bit because I don't want to I don't want it over spilling out the back but then again with that bucket with 100,000 litres if it does overspill whoa what was I saying in that episode on six ashes about how my reversing's got so much better now and how I'm good at it because of the game <laughs> okay maybe not probably actually because we can <laughs> time we're going a little bit further interesting it's not filling up any further I tried this last time didn't I probably right let's do the same this side and I'll just gradually go from here I think yep there you go work has finished for no reason whatsoever other than just laziness. So we will be. Thank you very much.
Well, 500,000 litres isn't going to be very far, is it? On the grand silo of things. Okay, as soon as we get a flat bit like that, we know that's the height, that's the level it's going to be. So that flat bit just there is going to be our height, which is great. That's what I wanted to find out, where that was going to be. And I'll just keep doing this, and then gradually work my way forward, and then it will be a case of whatever I use, I just come up onto the top and drive backwards and forwards, whether I use a, that one that's available in-game. Oh, mine's gone blank. The one that's available here on the map, the Holoras Stego, which is the, supposed to be the heavy, you know, with the mass of a planet, that kind of thing. Okay, right, well, anyway, that's the first load done. I'll see you when all that field's done, and we'll see just how much we've got in there. And then it'll be the grass cutting. The problem is, for me, personally, the time in between is going to take ages, because it's got a lot of grass to cut now. Collecting it won't take five minutes, but at the moment, yeah, that hasn't worked out quite how I thought it was going to. Okay. It's because the had a tall height control thing. Not to worry. Field 3 is done. How close was your guess? How close was my guess? That's another one. Uh, 1,695,761. So a little bit more than 1.5. Not quite what, uh, 2. But that's not bad. So it's all backed up. I've got a flat. I mean, there's a few little bits here where it could do just being filled in. That's not a problem. And we're not right to the back either. So we can get some more in there. What I've decided to do is my field 9, which has got wheat in it, I've now taken back the other header and I've leased an all-crop header. This is also tool height for header, uh, tool height control. That's an all-crop header there. And I think I've got... Uh, which one have I got? Yeah, that one, tool height control for harvester. I keep saying for header, I know I keep saying various different things, but yes, yeah, so I've got that one. So we're going to do our wheat with that, because I thought, well, I don't need the wheat, and I can sell the wheat, but if I want to do silage, I might as well silage it as well. The grass still isn't ready to, to do yet. How much we'll get off this field, I don't know. Harvester is still continuing on the harvest contract. The harvest contract has popped up for field four. Uh, field 482 grand for doing barley, it's a big field, it's going to take a long time. Sowing on field 6 has popped up, so yeah, I mean, we can start making a load more money back. That Making money is not a problem, and it's never been the issue, and it's never really been the focus other than when I've needed to get more machinery. Um, I might get a third cow barn, so if we get close to that 1,000, we can then move the surplus into the third one. But again, I, I don't know about that yet. Uh, and we want to do laminate boards as well when we do the poplars, so we've got another factory to build. And then on field three, needs ploughing. So at the moment I've got the um, the New Holland, uh, the big old New Holland T9 smart track uh, is now ploughing. But that's just taking its time, as is the harvest on field five. They're just plodding along, getting the job done, while I do other things. So that's great. Hopefully this will work all right. Slow it down. Shouldn't get the grass in. As I don't want it to get the grass in. There we go. Now, this won't, as an all-crop job, if you're doing something like this, like wheat, this is not going to yield when you're chaffing it like corn does. Corn slash maize, if you do that for silage, is way, way, way more productive than whole cropping and other fields but i bought this field it already had wheat in it i don't need the wheat for anything will i make more money selling the wheat than i would do making silage potentially but I, it doesn't again it's not really the end of the world uh, you notice that strip across there that's because some idiot decided 
that when they were cutting grass uh, they would drive across there when the field was growing didn't even think twice about it so yeah we've got a couple of nice tram lines across the middle of the field but the only thing we get off this field is a bonus it's, it's added um, added silage what am I going to repurpose this field for I don't know I don't want to grass everything that also becomes a little bit mad I suppose I, I suppose I could do realistically then all of this right the way across would be my grass oh that'd be a huge amount wouldn't it you imagine how much we could get every time I get to a point I could buy a second mower and have two mowers running on that. That would be crazy. Would be pretty cool. Doesn't like that term, does it? Maybe I will. Because at the moment I've got field seven and field three are kind of what I put my crops in. If I'm doing crops, why did that stop? Oh, did I catch some grass? so annoying when it happens so I always thought the all the crop all crop headers before were you know you could go between multiple crops you could kind of go off and you get a little bit of grass on the border so that decided not to work now oh come on that's really annoying if it has come on work again nope it's happened once before and it is the most annoying thing because it takes ages to sort out anyway I'll get this sorted out and then I'll get um, get the rest of this cleared and then yeah I'll probably I'll, I'm going to if it doesn't require ploughing this one yep I'll plough it uh, does it need hang on does it need lime? Nope. So I'll just plough it out and then I'll grass it. And then all of that, all the way across will be grass, as will when the farm as well. Madness. But pretty cool. Right. Hmm. This is frustrating. I'm assuming it's got grass stuck in here. But why was that not empty? Maybe I'll bring the other trailer wrong side. Let's try that. Unfortunately, my six ashes luck seems to have come with Mizurika Farms. Things did not pan out quite the way I'd hoped here on field nine. I started off doing the all crop with the all crop header, and both of the trailers I've got, um, it got to 25,000 litres and then stopped picking up. It, it wouldn't we wouldn't harvest anymore the problem i had i was saying oh it's probably i've got a bit of grass in it or something like that no it did it in the field Twenty-five thousand litres so i'll swap trailer so i swapped the trailers over no Twenty-five thousand litres would not go above twenty-five thousand litres so i decided i'll harvest it instead so i've harvested the wheat what i had left we've got about seventy-five thousand litres in here i think let's have a look seventy-seven thousand and one litres of wheat which we're going to take to sell everything's over here i've got just over the brow of the hill the new holland with the plow as you can see we've got a strip plow because it needs plowing um i'm going to grab the straw swaths i wasn't going to swath it because i was going to whole crop it but i'm going to grab this now and we're going to oh did i had it on and then turned it off so we're going to grab the straw off it i'm going to plow it then we're going to spray it and we're going to get ready to uh to repurpose it for grass so it means then that once the grass has grown on here which hasn't grown yet that's going to be the next episode i think we'll get all the grass cut put grass in for the cows and then whatever's left will go into the bunker silo so we know exactly how much we've got to compact and um and then cover so yeah it's a, it's a bit annoying i was hoping to get a bit further on with it than this but as with a lot of these things, it is what it is. We have a load more straw we can put into uh, into storage. If you're new to this channel and you're wondering how am I managing to do this, this trailer loading wagon is available here on Eureka Farms, one of TNT modding's mods included with the map, and it will collect everything all the way out to there, which is just 
brilliant. And various other things. If you haven't seen any of the other bits of bobs I've done, go back to the start of this, this Let's Play and uh, have a look. So that's clear now, which means I can now get the ploughing going, then I'll get the fertilising going. Harvest is nearly finished on field five. That's been chugging away the whole time. Field three has been ploughed. I don't know what to put in field three now, actually. That's why I'm happy to grass over this one, um, because it's not like I've got a, a panic on for, oh, I need to get such and such a crop. All the crops I wanted to do to show, so I'm just waiting on poplars. We did sugar cane, we did a big corn harvest at the start, we've done another one just now. Things like wheat and soybean and stuff like that, other than getting the straw swaths, which I've also shown me, as I've just done now, collecting with the loading wagon, there's not really a crop that I need to show now, so I'm not too sure. We'll let that get on with it. Um, I'm going to plough out the gaps in between, but I'm not going to do that until the grass is fully grown, and I've used the grass already here, otherwise I'm wasting grass by ploughing it in. But, uh, yeah, so I think that's where I'm going to end this one. But again, in my head I'm thinking, oh, that's disappointing, but I've still got loads done including using that insane bucket <laughs> which is still blows my mind it's incredible so there we go um, i hope you've enjoyed it if you have give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching